Hello, and thank you for listening to this tutorial on setting up an item and the difference between an item and a general ledger account. Oftentimes what we see is that clients of ours use the chart of accounts to track product line and services they provide. So in, in other words, they will set up a an, an individual chart of accounts for each service or product line that they offer. Um, I'm going to go over to the chart of accounts and kind of show you how this one is set up. But what I'm saying is that in, in a, lo a lot of clients that we see, instead of, for example, service down here, they may have um, trimming and mowing or um, um, mulching individual chart of accounts for the services that they provide. Um, I'm going to show you a way, that if you use items, the way QuickBooks um, intends, you can keep your chart of accounts to a manageable size and still track all the information that, that you need to for your business. So if we go back over to item list, um, you will see in this, in this example, we already have tree removal services, pest control, installations, gardening design um, are some of the services that we provide. If you go over to the right you will see that the that these specific items are mapped to an individual line or an individual account on the chart of accounts. Um, let's focus on tree removal here for example. Tree removal is a, a service um, that is currently mapped to, if we go back to chart of accounts, the service chart of account um, income line. We've decided that we want to add mowing as an additional service. So rather than set up um, a chart of accounts called mowing income or mowing revenue um, or having one that's tree removal income or uh, and mowing revenue, we're going to set up an item. To do so from the item list you go down to item, select new, and this is going to be a service item and in another tutorial I will go over the differences between the various items in here. Um, we're going to call this mowing. It's not going to be a sub item of anything um, and we're going to call it lawn mowing services. We name it. Um, this is going to be a non-taxable service item and right here is where you map it to the general ledger chart of accounts and this is just going to be an additional service. So once you've set it up you click OK and you will see now that we have an another um, in addition to tree removal we have another um, service for mowing. What that allows you to do is if we go over to the customers and let's say we invoice um, Adam's Candy Shop for mowing we're going to create an invoice um, mowing populates our description. We're going to say charge $25 non-taxable and you will see that the balance due is $25 save and close um, and if we go to a standard profit and loss and then go down to the service items um, we're going to double click on the service and you will see that this invoice that we created for mowing is included in the amount on the profit and loss for service. If you do want to see a, um, a breakdown of your, of your sales by item or um, sales by product line or service provided, QuickBooks provides reports that will allow you to do that. Um, to access these reports, if you go to reports, sales, and then you will see a sales by item summary or a sales by item detail. Um, we'll click on the sales by item detail and this report will give you all the details relating to the items that you've created. In this example we're going to go down to service and we're going to find mowing and you will see the mowing invoice that we created for Adam's Candy Shop. So this will give you a breakdown of all of the um, of the sales by item, sales price, amount that you sold, quantity, and then the balance. Um, for those for those items in that given period of time. 
So in summary, um, a, a better use of QuickBooks instead of using the chart of accounts to track services you provide or product lines you sell, you should use items, you should consider using items to track those individual services or a product line and map those to a more um, a condensed chart of accounts. It keeps your chart of accounts more manageable and there are reports that exist that allow you to still track your sales um, by individual service or product line. So I hope that helps and if you have any questions as always give us a call. Thank you.